伸出双手就能触摸，眼前松软的毛发是你只。橘色夕阳，缓慢的日常像漩涡，一圈一圈地旋转，就像是谁看你了。Evolution salutations, everyone. Evolution Rapper here, and welcome back to Nico Jishi. Now, there's been an update, so once again, I've had to play all the way back to where the last time point. Luckily, and thank goodness I did think about this, I actually, what I did was I started from this point, played up to the, because it wasn't too far from where we left off, so I started from this point. And made our way all the way back to this, so it should load now. Cause I saved over the old data, because it wouldn't load the old data, unfortunately, because of the update. So I say I started from that point and played all the way back up to this. So, excuse me. Without further ado, let's begin. I spend the next few days trying to get some alone time with Leopard to speak with him, which is easier said than done. I can't exactly talk to him during class, and afterwards Tiger joins us. But dance practice is going to be my best chance. Leopard always comes to dance practice. Tiger's always off to the side brooding, and Senpai's usually busy with the other senior students. Today I make sure to go to a corner away from Senpai and Tiger to practice. Leopard followed me, so this should be a good, well, this should be as good a time as any. Although I never quite get tired of watching Leopard dance. Hey Leopard, I've been meaning to ask you. I get all my words between breaks in the routine I was working on. A while ago, you told me you wanted me to go to Wutai to be an oracle. But what would you do if I didn't do that? Wait. Wait until when? Wait until Liao does go. What? He is willing to wait until death. He is willing to wait however long it takes. That is determination and commitment. I I admire that. I'll give you that, Leopard. And if I never do? Hmm. You say your child needs an oracle, but if I don't go to Wutai, is there any other way to help you? Help not be an oracle? What? Like finding some way I don't need to be there physically. The internet's pretty handy these days. People could just send questions and I can answer them. Well, could answer back from home. I don't think that would work. Not be an oracle. I don't know. But Ni Liao, see me, speak, others. I get that's how an oracle works and all, but I don't know what kind of problems you need me to solve. Do I need to do something or can I let people know what's going on? I just don't really want to leave Taipei. Many problems, urgent, all need solving. But what can I do? For you from here there has to be something i don't know i hate to see him sad i hate that sad face it hurts me oracle busy must speak with many people what about using the internet or speaking over the phone i don't think that would work not sure i think no hmm 
sure there's a bunch of things that you absolutely need to discuss in person, but not everything's like that. And Leopard, he's determined to get something across this tribe. But what's so important here that... Well, what's also important here is that they actually trust me as an oracle. Being Han Chinese makes being trusted by his aboriginal tribe hard enough as it is. Being a voice on the phone wouldn't help one bit. Liao, Liao, aren't you tired? Wanna rest? Let's take a break. Senpai! Huh? Oh, I'm fine. What's he on about? I'm already resting. You mind if I scooch in there? Well, scooch in here? You and Cool Liao seem to have He's a fun all by yourselves. No, not at all. In fact, it's a pretty serious discussion. It really is. About going to Wu-Tai? Yeah, that. Would it be okay for me to join you guys? Is that even a good idea? Aren't you two basically opponents over me? I wouldn't say that. If you don't go home, you can just help me restore the temple. And then go to Wu-Tai. Easy peasy. I know Kula will want you to go there ASAP. But all that's still up for discussion, right? So for now, we're friends. Senpai grabs Leopard's paw and hits to emphasize the point. Leopard doesn't seem to reject the move, but his face is always the same. So I can't really tell you. His face is not always the same. Do you not see the sadness, the anger, and other kinds of emotions that are in the icon? Don't say his face is always the same. Eh, alright, Senpai. Oh, alright. But Senpai, what's what you call him Cool Liao? His name is Lee Ku Lao. Lee isn't his family name or anything, but that's how the Rukai language works. Hey, I know that. I just figured since we call friends by our first names all the time, Ku Lao would sound nice. Isn't that a bit disrespectful? I'm kind of worried that Leopard would take offense to Senpai's new nickname for him, but his expression never changes. I don't really know what to make of it, but at least it doesn't seem to disapprove. So now, Kulao and I are friends. It seems like an overly one-sided friendship at the very least. Well then, you know somebody it's pretty rude to cut into other people's conversations. Oh, okay then, I'll just check in with Kulao later. See ya! And there he goes again. Off again. A class is about move. Why do I feel like I know someone who does that? Hmm. Anyway, I guess we should probably continue talking about this later then. Yes. Leopard takes a while to respond. I guess he's got his mind on something else. I wonder what. I can never tell with him. After that day, I kept keep on trying to talk one on one with Senpai again and again, but the opportunity never comes up. I didn't expect him to be such a hard cat to catch. Tiger and Leopard are always with me during class. Prying Senpai away from his fan club is near impossible during dance practice. It's not any better at home at all with all three of them there. I can't just go have privacy with one of them. But today I finally come up with a scheme that should work. It basically boils down to distracting Tiger and Leopard with all the food at the cafeteria while I sneak in a few questions with Senpai. I know it won't give me much time, but it's better than nothing. You know, Senpai. Hmm? I'm not making a slurping sound. I mean, I could, I could probably use this soda right next to me to make a slurping sound, but I'm not doing that. He was eating pork rib noodles. Yeah, I definitely couldn't make that kind of slurping sound. I don't have any noodles next to me. The cafeteria is famous for having the best fried ribs around, and they're even better when dipped in rich soupy broth. Yeah, I've never had broth, I don't want Yeah, but now's not the time to shield my college. Shield? What? What does that even mean? You know, about what you want. What's going on with you to Miaoli to help restore your temple? <laughs> okay, senpai, you got way too excited so fast. Hmm? So, Leo, you decided to come? I haven't. Please don't jump to conclusions. Fine. Leo, so what does he want to ask? Well, I say I want... Say I wanted to stay here in Taipei, is there any way I can still help you? Well, it doesn't work like that. There are temple ceremonies that need to be performed. How would you encourage people to come worship if you aren't even there? Like passing along spiritual messages? Before that, we still need to clean up the place, right? 
What about if I come over on weekends to help out with that? Well, you need to be the priest. It's more complicated than just passing along messages, you know. It may sound weird, but I think you should be all down to earth and stuff when it comes to this. Your reason isn't very convincing, senpai. What? Rude? How about showing some respect to your senpai? Well, maybe you should work on being more respectable first. Huh, I I'm fine. Oh, is the little kid in- oh, wait a minute, wrong voice. Oh, is the little kid in arguing with Liao? We weren't arguing! Senpai is mad. <laughs> I'm best friends with Liao, isn't that right? Eh? <laughs> really? <laughs> Whatever you believe. You may do what you wish, but then you'll be seeing yourself back to Miaoli. You're so long-winded, old man. If you don't like it, how about you leave right now? How could I? The old man is just the best. But you called me old man. Guardian Tiger, old man. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't expect the, uh, I didn't expect the leopard to do that. Not both of you. And that's how this conversation ended in an argument. Oh gosh. Started with Senpai continuously calling him an old man, and then freaking Liku Lao joined in. Uh, that night I was browsing through some text forms with Tiger. Okay, keep scrolling down. Following his orders, I scroll down the page, his eyes peering over my shoulder. Hmm, so that's how it is. Now previous page. I click back a page. Yes, that one. Please open it. I click on the article he's pointing at. Hmm. Uh. Oh, sorry, Leo. You must be getting tired. A little bit. I didn't want to complain, but it's kind of exhausting to sit around and wait for him to read each page. Then move to the next one. And the next one. I don't even know what the, any of this stuff means. If only you didn't need my hands to work the computer for him. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm pretty bored just sitting there watching you read. Hmm. Why not ask Senpai to help you use the mouse? Say what? Why should I help the old man? He's the one always pushing me to leave. I'd rather not have the help of that little kitten. So we're in agreement on that. But this is no fun for me. Oh god. Even if it's no fun, there's no way I'm helping my enemy. Um... What the... Even if it was for your sake, Liao, I still wouldn't put my trust in that kitten. They really have it up for each other, don't they? Should I do something? Okay, so you're not enemies with Leopard, but you're idiot, huh? enemies with Guardian Tiger. And I know Guardian Tiger doesn't like you. Uh... Okay. Honestly, there is no way I can force them. Like, I should find a way to work together, but there's no way I can force them. Okay, okay, stop, please. What is it really between you two? That little kitten should leave. Things are just going to become more troublesome the longer he stays around. Oh, what about you, old man? You're always breathing down Liao's neck, just expecting him, uh, expecting him to listen to you just because you're some protector of the Lin family. Hey, that's enough. Don't start fighting. Maybe I should have clicked the other one. Huh? Who could it be at this time? I take it my phone. Oh, a call from my... Who is it this time? This is totally going to be bad news, isn't it? Let me get this. Well, at least they stop bickering while I'm on the phone. Hello? Dad? Liao, it's me. What, bro? Oh, bro. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, do another. Yeah. Liao, surprised to hear me or something? Hey, that's the only one who ever calls me. So yeah, it's surprising to hear you, bro. You know I'm not one. You know I'm not one for phone calls. Dad was just talking to me about seeing Guardian, about you seeing Guardian Tigers. There's no way I would pass up asking you about that. Huh? No, I haven't. Mm. Uh. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What should I do? What should I do? I can make up an excuse. Or I can confess. Make up an excuse or confess. I feel like if I confess, it's going to force me to go down a path that's only going to be Guardian Tiger. I'll make up an excuse. I, I haven't seen it. I just heard that our family g can see them. Oh? Who said so? I don't really remember. I think it was something I saw on the internet. Something about our family's Guardian Tigers being special and that g can see them. So is it real? What would I do if I could see one? Oh yeah, I've heard some stories like that. Grandpa would tell them when I was little, but I can't see them, so you probably can't either. That told me that we should never share those stories. But I think it could be kind of cool to see one. Hmm. Well, you did take a small guardian tiger statue to Taipei, after all. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll see him. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, wait, no, that was neat. Ah. But it would be really cool if you could, though. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, after your last talk with Dad, he said very strictly not to go around talking about these kind of things. He was pretty serious about it, so I figured something might have happened. Turned out it was nothing, though. So it's all good. Take care of your statue, and don't forget to worship from time to time. I know. <laughs> I can tell you haven't been praying since you took it. Wait, since you took it with you, at least pay it some attention. Yeah, I know. I'll make sure to get some things together to worship tomorrow. In the corner of my eyes, I can see Guardian Tiger shooting a fierce glare at me. Oh God. Okay then, as long as you. Okay then, as long as you know, I won't bother you about it. Anyway, I need to head off. Oh gosh. Yeah, see you later, bro. Also, st your stash under the bed. You should really have hid better. I found it in a second. Uh, bro, wh what stash? Don't worry, I'll help you hide it. Trust me. Even Dad used to hide stuff under his bed. Maybe I'll even tell you where I stashed that later. Uh, okay, thanks. All right, bye. Oh God, I can just tell Tiger's gonna be mad. So he found some old books that I brought home. I mean, it's not a big deal, right? My bookshelf in Tai Bay. Just filled to the brim. If I didn't send some home, how would I be able to bomb? Leo, what are you so upset about? Nothing much. It's just about those comics. What? Oh, I got that right. Oh, what about my offerings? What? Are you saying I don't feed you enough? Leo, you did say worship, correct? They are two different things. Um, so how about getting the family bucket for dinner then? Yes. Uh, chicken again? I don't want that. What's wrong with chicken? It's always chicken. Every day a leopard cat like me can't tolerate the same thing. Well, I can't tolerate the same thing every day, even if it's moist, delicious chicken. If you don't want any, feel free not to eat it. Yo, man, it's bullying me again. <laughs> Keep it down, guys. I'm calling to order some now. Uh. It's Friday. Another week's gone by, and I still have no clue what to do. Yeah. Eh, what? Somebody jumps out of nowhere, determined to get my attention, shocking the living daylight out of me, like usual. Hey, this weekend, let's go out together. Again, Senpai, you always want to go out. Aren't you tired? We can start having fun with your free time. Come on, Liao. Aren't you bored of this all day? Oh, fine. I'm st I'm fine with staying in. It's a great chance to get a rest. With the three cats around, it's hard enough to take care of them every day. And they always want to go out on the weekends, too. Sometimes I just want a day with nothing to do. Just stay at home, rest, take my mind off things. And this weekend, there's Qingming, the Tomb Sweeping Festival coming up. Which means we should go to it. I always want to go somewhere every week. But this is way different than all those weekends. It's the perfect time of the season to go to a festival. What's so special about this season? Come on, Leo, just th think for a second. Well, it's spring. We already went to the hot springs, and you can't say there's many cherry blossoms in Taiwan. Cherry blossoms getting warm. Cherry blossoms getting warmer. Perhaps that's another tree I'm thinking of? Uh, Taiwan doesn't have any blossom festivals. What do you mean? <sighs> you really don't know what I'm talking about, do you, Leo? I'm talking about tongue blossoms. Tongue blossoms? Yeah, exactly. What are those? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking. What? You don't know about the tongue blossoms? They're literally everywhere. So soon all the tongue blossom gardens are going to be full of tourists wanting to see them, meaning now's the best time to go. Ashramo and the Hakka Tongue Blossom Festival have been everywhere. 
Have you not seen me by now? Huh? The Hakka Tongue Blossom Festival? Well, I can't say I've really looked it up, but this has to be the best time to see them regardless, so we should go together. Flower blossoms, huh? I don't usually know what tongue blossoms look like, but I guess the tongue blossom garden is probably going to be pretty similar to a cherry blossom one. Honestly, as it stands, I've only even seen cherry blossoms bloom in manga, so where can we go to see them? Well, the best tongue blossom gardens are in Senju and Maoli. As much as I'd love to show you my hometown cover in a sea of blossoms, you probably don't want to go that far. The places around here are really nice too. So where are they around here? That mountain way behind our campus is known to have wonderful gardens. A perfect day trip for the two of us. Huh? It's actually not that far out. But since it's in the mountains, that means we have to hike up, don't we? You don't like hiking? Oh, it's not that. I'm just thinking out loud. Honestly, it sounds a lot nicer than usual. Honestly, it sounds... Liao gets to look at some full... Oh, is this Senpai? Honestly, it sounds a lot nicer than usual. Liao, let's go look at some shops full of stuff we can't buy. Uh, we can't buy. I don't... Oh, wait, no, no, that is... That is me, that is me. Okay. Liao, let's... Although, I already did his voice, though, whatever. I don't know why I prefer places that don't have many people around. Okay, so what do we need to bring? Well, we can bring stuff to a pic. Uh, we can bring stuff for a picnic. It won't be much put to, to put together. I can even do it all for you if you want. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm all for it. But I'm sure I'm not sure how the others feel about it. I turn to look at the other two cats. Tiger shrugs his shoulders, and the leopard is just sitting there, looking blankly as usual. I take no issue with this, Elden. <coughs> he just said nothing. So then we're all set. We're gonna go see the flower blossoms tomorrow. And that's how yet another weekend was planned out for me. Uh. Huh? <laughs> it's cold. Well, it's so cold. Honestly, I like the cold though. Yeah, the air up here is super refreshing. Are you even capable of feeling cold, senpai? Eh, it's already April. Who needs a jacket this time of year? This high up, of course you need a jacket. Aw, oh, Leo can't handle a cool breeze. Don't you dare look at me at that face. But you have fur, that's hardly fair. Well, not really. Tiger and Leopard are spirit, so it's not like they feel the cold. Enough, you two. Kitten, don't encourage Leo to catch a cold. Aw, this old man's always telling you to put more clothes on, Leo. It's such a pain to have, a, um, to, have to put a bunch of clothes on just to take them off again. Oh, more of a pain, more of a pain than getting sick. Lever comes over to me before I work out what he's doing. He presses his paws against my ear, sending his warmth right through me. Really, cuz the what? How did he do that? Oh, thank you. Oh, I wanna try. Somebody runs over and gives me a big hug. Kidding? Boy, kidding. I was expecting Tiger to come over and pull Senpai out of me. They say he pulls all of us, including Senpai and Leopard, into his arms for one big hug. Ah! What? <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Oh god, being held by the three is really heartwarming. But I'm kind of anxious over someone seeing us. Well, me and Senpai, that is. It's one for two guys to be hugging like this out in the open. Hey, okay, okay. I didn't think to try to push them off, but I knew I wouldn't have been able to, so I just stand there, enjoying the warm and caring affection. They let go of me, eventually. Worried about anyone having seen us, I rushed them to move on. Who the heck is this? Who or what is that? No, that's them, huh? In the special room with you, right? Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. Who or what the heck was that? I, it's just... What? Um... Uh... Okay. We follow Senpai to a small path going up the mountain. While this mountain has been built up for tourism, the hiking trail winds all over the place. Without Senpai, we'd probably have gotten lost by now. Let me see. Okay, according to this map, this spot over here should be the best place to see the flowers. This way. 
Hey Senpai, what do tongue flowers even look like? Oh, they're white and when they fall to the ground it looks like snow. I'm surprised we haven't even run into a few yet. They should be right around. We walk down the path and join the... Um, we walk down the path and join the fresh mountain. But still not seeing any flowers other than a few bushes growing alongside the hiking trail. Maybe if we go further in... We go further along the trail until we come across a series of stone steps. Imagine how many stones they'd have to bring out here to make all these steps. The, ne uh, the neatly placed stone walkway makes hiking up a mountain feel like a lovely walk to the park. A little further on in the walkway ceased to, well, cease to be paved with stone, becoming dirt paths, sent out by visitors over decades of use. Thankfully, weather had been nice the last few days, so it wasn't muddy. How weird. All this way and still no flowers. You think we went the wrong way? Or maybe... Maybe what? Senpai didn't answer and just kept walking quickly ahead. The map held tightly in his hand. There was nothing I can do but follow. It should be around here. A house? We arrived at a place that looked like an abandoned farm with a small hut in the far side. Next to an empty field stood a grand tree, its shade reaching out over the ground below where a large boulder lay beneath. It seemed like the perfect place to sit and have a rest. Well, this must be the spot, but I guess the tree hasn't started blooming yet. Bummer. So this is a tongue tree? Yeah, a really big one too. But I guess we're early. In Mount Early, the flowers should be blooming right around this time of year. Hmm. They'll probably be, probably be because we're in the north. What difference does that make? Taipei is further north than Maoli, so perhaps the flower season begins later. What? That can't be right. I, I just wanted to bring Liao up here to see the flower blossoms together. Senpai, I still think this place is really nice. Isn't it the perfect time to have our picnic anyway? It's a shame that we didn't get to see the blossoms, but I didn't know what to expect anyway, so it's not like I feel it's not like I feel like I missed out on anything. Hmm. Maybe there's still another way. Senpai runs over the tree, holding his paws against the trunk. Maybe if I can do this... Leo, just wait a second. I'm gonna try something pretty hard. Whoa, really? What did he just do? Senpai stands before the tree, puts his paws on his chest, and performs some kind of ritualistic hand sign. A green aura slowly starts to emanate from within him. Uh... Tiger and Leopard seem kind of nervous. What's going on? The green aura quickly surrounds the tree. Slowly sleeping into it. As this happens, the tree begins to shake, irrespective of the breeze. But they what? Some of the flower what? Some of the flower buds begin to open up on top of the tree. Suddenly, as if a wave of energy has shot down from the tree, the blossom all the flowers blossom at once. I see a white petals cover the branches of the grand uh, tongue tree before me. Some of them even begin to fall to the lone boulder below it. It's breathtaking. Not bad. Pretty. I go over and pick up one of the tongue petals. It's pure white, not a blemish to be seen. The flowers even had pollen inside them. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought the petal had blossomed normally just like any other. Senpai, that was awesome! <laughs> Amazing, wasn't it? It may be only one tree, but now you get to see the tongue blossoms, Liao. But Senpai, I thought you didn't have any god powers. I had you man something like that. Hmm? Oh, I've had that power since I became a Yagwai. You don't learn tricks like that from a local god and so uh, yeah, from a local god of soul, after all. Oh. Well, now that I've prepared such a wonderful scenery, let's hurry up and dig into our picnic. The first swiftly takes the blanket out from his backpack and spreads it down beneath the fallen tongue petals. If hiking picnic, then picnic means I need to pack heaps of sweets to give us energy to make it back home. So what do you have in store for us, Liao? Sweets. We aren't kids now, you know, Mr. Big College Senpai. Well, I say cherish your youth. Senpai drops his backpack down and takes out some cookies, crackers, and a short amount of pastries. I mean, you could eat that all in one go, but it's hardly a proper meal. So, what delectable treats did Liao bring? I open my backpack and silently take out a bento box I had prepared earlier this morning. I made it while Senpai was sleeping. I never cooked, so I just used the recipe I found on the internet. So it probably didn't turn out any good. Not to mention those mistakes I made while putting it together. Thankfully Tiger was there to help me fix them. I try my best to cook a variety of vegetables and meat at the very least. It should be good for me. Hmm? 
What? It's almost like you're a wife cooking their husband a delicious meal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, no way. I was just thinking that I should try making bento for our picnic. Wow, Leo, I never thought you would do that for me. Enough kidding. Leo never said he made it for you. The new house would he have made it for? It's not like you need to eat. After offering it, Leo could certainly eat it for eat it all for us. Why? That would be such a waste. I don't see how. Leo, you made the bento for me, didn't you? I taught Leo how to make it. If anything, it should be an offering to me. Leo's bento. I want. Wait, wait, it's only a bento! I quickly hide the bento behind my bag and keep it away uh, from any funny ideas they might have. Hey, no need to big it over it. I made this for my lunch today. Why would you think I made it for you? But Leo, wouldn't it make more sense to offer it to us before you eat? There's no downside to you, I thought. That's true. It kind of be mean not to let you guys have it for no reason. But wait! If you did that, everyone would get to eat the bento but me. No fair. You don't need. Kulao, you too? I just want to taste some of Liao's homemade cooking. Is that too much to ask? Senpai looks at me with unconvincing sad puppy eyes while Tiger and Leopard slowly close in on me. What should I do? Oh, God! <laughs> you can't make me choose! Ugh. Uh, why? Why are you making me choose? Why is there no let them all share it? Why is there no let them all share it? Can I even save from here? I can. Okay. I think I'm going to end this episode here because it's past the 30 minute mark. Uh, so... That's, yeah, that's the end of today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, go support Team Nico GC in the original content. And until next time, this is Sparky, signing out.